Hello students, welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas. We have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through Play Store. Once you have downloaded the application, you will be able to easily log in using your Gmail ID. Once you have logged in, you will be redirected to this page where you will be getting this UI and there will be option for home, all courses, my courses and doubt section. On this application, you will be getting multiple PDFs, multiple content on daily basis that will be enhancing your learning. Our first segment is daily current affairs. We make sure to provide you current affairs on daily basis in both English as well as in Hindi content. The PDFs for the same are uploaded on our application. And apart from this, we also make sure to provide you with quizzes that will help you to revise the content after you have gone through the PDF. Next comes our weekly content. The content is also provided in both English as well as in Hindi. And here we also make sure to provide you quiz also of that past week's current affairs that will be enhancing your learning as it is a compilation of the important topics, important MCQ questions for the last week. Similar for the monthly, the PDFs are very important. They provide you insights of various topics as well as we also make sure to provide you the quiz of monthly questions that are very important for learning. Next, we also provide you with important PIB articles on daily basis so that you can go through these particles and have an insight about that particular topic. Not just this, we also make sure to provide you important events that are happening globally and make sure to give you the right analysis. One of the most important segment of our application is that we make sure to provide you with the correct exam analysis. When you are having exam, we make sure to provide you with the previous year questions so that the student can go through the exam pattern and the syllabus and can prepare the exam accordingly based on the pattern. After the exam, we also make sure to provide you with the exam analysis. Then for the students who are preparing for state exams, they will be also beneficial here as we will make sure to provide with state wise current affairs for them. Apart from this, we also make sure to cover the topic wise current affairs such as your national affairs, government schemes, international affairs, banking and finance, economy and businesses as these are the topics from which the examiner definitely asks the question and these are covered on the monthly basis. So friends, do check our application. It will be a one stop solution for learning. Apart from this friends, Carrier Scout is hiring. We are looking for candidates for subject matter experts in quants reasoning and English and also we are looking for a content creator for current affairs topic on daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. There is also an opening for a person who can translate the English content into Hindi. If you want to apply, you can scan the code here for further details or you can go to the description and click the link below. These positions are available both in full time and freelance for serious candidates. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs for 7th and 8th of April. Session will be quite interesting. So do pay attention till the end. Let's start. First is BEML and which organization partnered to develop indigenous train control management system that is ITCM. Correct. ICTM as basically system also. So indigenous train control management system. This indigenous train control management system was co-developed or developed by BEL and BEML. BEML is your Bharat Earth Movers Limited, correct? And Bharat Electrical Limited. These are the two organizations that jointly developed an indigenous train control management system. The partnership between these two aims to promote innovation and it will foster self-reliance in the train control management system. The main objective of this MOU between these two organizations is to identify potential areas of cooperation between these two organizations that will focus on developing and exploring high value products and solutions that will be required for the Indian railways and metro systems. Here you can see BEML that is Bharat Earth Movers Limited. They signed this MOU. It was with BEML, BEL that is Bharat Electronics Limited and it was to jointly develop ICTMS. Correct. And as we just saw, partnership between them aim to promote innovation and foster self-reliance in the domain of control management system. Apart from this, if we talk about this train control management system, this is known as the brain of the train. As we saw train control management system. So it is controlling the train. 
right so it is known as also known as the brain of the train that plays a major role in coordinating the control and monitoring across various system this includes distributed control systems comprising computer devices software human machine interfaces digital and analog input output capabilities and secure data networks these train control management system ensures efficient and reliable rail operation by facilitating seamless data communication interfaces with other train bond and wayside systems if we talk about beml if we talk about beml who is the chairman and managing director here shantanu roy headquarters is in bangalore karnataka and it was established in 1964 if we talk about bel bharat electrics limited bharat electronics limited who is the chairman and managing director bhanu prakash shrivastav where is the headquarter it is in bangalore karnataka when was it established 1954 this was established moving on which two organization recently signed mmmou that is memorandum of understanding to boost sustainability in agriculture and renewable energy usage in india so i repeat which is, which are these two organization it is ifco and acme right here you can see ifco is your indian farmers fertilizer cooperatives limited and the world's that is the world's largest fertilizer cooperative they have signed this mou with acme clean tech solutions private limited correct and it is for the purchase and supply of 2 lakh metric ton of ammonia produced using renewable energy correct i repeat this will this mou was for between these two organization was for the purchase of 2 lakh metric ton of ammonia right and this ammonia was produced using renewable energy method correct take a note of this here acme remember this is the india's leading renewable energy company correct this is specializing in developing renewable energy products that includes green hydrogen and green ammonia plants if we look at the mou the ammonia will be produced using a renewable energy source at acm is facility that is in gopalpur odisha location is also important for this facility then the commercial grade ammonia delivered under the agreement or arrangement will be utilized to manufacture complex fertilizers at the ifcos paradeep unit in odisha and kandla unit in gujarat so the ammonia that will be produced here will be procured and will be used to make high grade fertilizers or complex fertilizers correct This MOU plays a significant step towards sustainable agriculture and renewable energy usage in India and the initiative will significantly reduce the nation's reliance on the import of fossil fuels that will decarbonize the economy and provide India the opportunity to take lead in the green hydrogen technology and market share. So coming back here IFCO and ACMA they partner together for the supply of ammonia and this ammonia is made using the renewable energy sources at ecme and it will be delivered to the plants in ifco that will be making using this ammonia to make complex to make complex fertilizers moving on to next question next is mirage tanpura and mirage sitar these are the two product that recently got gi tag these products are from which state so mirage tanpura and mirage sitar these are the products from maharashtra that recently got the gi tag take a note of this important here let me show you chennai tamil nadu based headquartered gi registry under the dpiit correct they have recently awarded gi tags to mirage tanpura and mirage sitar and these products are of maharashtra take a note of this correct then apart from this a product from up also got the gi tag that is bundelkhand khatiya gehu gehu is wheat correct so bundelkhands kathiya gehu also got the gi tag and this product is from where it is from uttar pradesh and two products from uh, maharashtra got the gi tag which are they miraj tanpura miraj sitar they are from uh, maharashtra and these are the handicraft goods and on second is your bundelkhand kathiya gehu that is a wheat that is the product that recently got the gi tag from uttar pradesh next sjvn 
The SJVN recently signed a memorandum of understanding to use advanced geological models in tun tunneling projects with which IIT. So SJVN, they have partnered with IIT Patna, correct? And it was to utilize the advanced geological models in tunneling projects of SJVN. Here you can see SJVN, they signed a memorandum of understanding. It was with IIT Patna, Bihar to utilize the advanced geological models in tunneling projects of SJVN. And under this partnership, predictive analytics algorithms leveraging integrated geotechnical data will be developed. This will predict potential risk and offer early warning systems tailored for the tunneling project. Right here, the MOU will focus on developing cutting edge technologies, methodologies to integrate diverse techno geotechnological data. Correct. That will include geological surveys. Correct. Then ge geophysical measurements. Correct. And so on. So it was SJVN that partnered with IIT Patna. They signed this MOU to use advanced geological models in tunneling project next next is we are talking about highlights of rbi's first bi-monthly monetary policy for fiscal year 25 and india's real gdp growth is expected to grow at seven percent in fiscal year 25 so this is the first bi-monthly monetary policy of fiscal year 25 released by rbi and here they stated that in fiscal year 25 india is expected to grow by seven percent correct here if we look at the quarter wise data for the first quarter of fiscal year 25 at 7.1 percent for first quarter 7.1 percent for quarter two seven percent uh, for quarter two 6.9 percent for third quarter at seven percent and for fourth quarter again seven percent so this is the expected data that was released by it then here rbi's policy rates were kept unchanged if we talk about policy repo rate 6.5 percent fixed reverse repo rate 3.35 percent standing deposit facility rate 6.25 marginal standing facility rate 6.75 bank rate 6.75 cash reserve ratio 4.5 percent and statutory liquidity ratio 18 percent they were kept unchanged if we talk about consumer price index inflation correct or that is your retail inflation it is projected to be around 4.5 percent for fiscal year 25 right next next remember if we talk about the domestic and global economy with respect to the domestic economy the real gdp expanded by 7.6 percent in fiscal year 24 driven by robust domestic demand and investment activity Correct. As per the data released in the second advance estimate of the national income 23-24 by National Statistical Office of the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Here gross value added rose by 6.9% in fiscal year 24 led by manufacturing and construction. With respect to the global economy steady growth expected in 2024 despite declining inflation through stubborn services price kept it relatively high. Then if we talk about India's forest reserve reached all-time high of 64 645.6 billion dollar i repeat india's forex reserves they have reached all-time high of 645.6 billion dollar correct that is the forex reserve hit a new high for the third consecutive week reaching 645.58 billion by the end of the week on 29th of march 2020 and the reserves increased by almost 2.95 billion dollar mainly due to a rise in the foreign currency assets which went up by 2.3 billion dollar correct next next remember rbi to enable cash deposit facility via APA, upi i repeat rbi is set to launch a cash deposit via upi this here remember notably the bank's cdms that is cash deposit machines improve customer convenience and ease the cash handling burden on the branches currently the cash deposits require debit cards but considering upi's popularity and success in cardless and cash withdrawals this proposed uh, proposal has been made correct these cdms cash deposit machines they work as atms enabling the direct cash deposit into the bank account and upi we all know this is a real-time payment developed by npca that is used for p2p transactions bill payments person to or peer to merchant transactions now correct and now rbi is proposed to extend it to include cash deposits too 
right moving on next is rbi rbi have cancelled the certificate of registration of 4 nb fcs right i repeat rbi has cancelled certification of registration of 4 nb fcs in the exercise of their power conferred under the section 45 ia6 of the rbi act of 1934 now the question can be asked is which are these banks name those banks so do name those four nbfcs it is kundles motors finance private limited correct they cancelled they had their certificate of registration has been cancelled with effect from 12th of march nithya finance limited in kambitur tamil nadu their certification of registration has been cancelled with effect from 14th of march bhatia higher purchase private limited that is in batinda punjab with effect from 19th of march their license has been cancelled and jivan jyoti deposits and advance limited that is in hamirpur himachal pradesh their certificate of registration cancelled with effect from 21st of march 2020 then apart from these four nbfcs whose certificate of registrations were cancelled by rbi correct but apart from them there are five nbfcs who surrendered their certificate of registration to rbi which are they growing opportunity finance inwell commercial private limited mohan finance limited saraswati properties limited quick marketing private limited these are the five nbfcs who surrendered their certificate of registration to rbi correct then apart from this remember rbi has imposed monetary penalty on idfc first bank and lic housing finance i repeat rbi they have imposed a monetary penalty of 1 crore rupees now this data is important to remember that rbi imposed a monetary penalty of how much it was of 1 crore rupees on idfc first bank and lic housing finance correct and it was for the non compliance with certain directions issued by rbi on loans and advances statutory and other restrictions correct then apart from this remember rbi they have also imposed a monetary penalty of 49.7 lakh rupees and it was on lic housing finance limited right i repeat 49.7 lakh rupees penalty on lic housing finance limited correct next if we talk about idfc first bank who is the managing director and chief executive officer here v vedyanathan where is the headquarter mumbai maharashtra and it was established in 1997 next next remember jammu and kashmir bank they have partnered with paymart india paymart india and the reason for their partnership was to launch virtual atm facility what is the full form of atm automatic teller machine so remember jammu and kashmir bank they signed this mou with paymart india private limited to launch automated teller machine that is a virtual atm facility this collaboration aims to introduce cardless cash withdrawals for the bank customers through the local merchants in the neighborhood correct apart from this remember the customer smartphone with the jammu and kashmir banks mobile app that is mpay delight serves as the virtual card and the merchant smartphone with the app acts as a virtual atm the cash withdrawal process is initiated through the bank's mobile application once the cap once the cash withdrawal process is validated by otp that is one time password the cash is dispensed hassle free The current limit for the virtual ATM service is set for two thousand rupees per transaction and ten thousand rupees per month. If we talk about Jammu and Kashmir Bank Limited, who is the managing director and chief executive officer here? Baldev Prakash. Where is the headquarter? It is in Srinagar, Jammu and Kashmir. It was established in nineteen thirty-eight. next next is sebi sebi has received the iso iec 27001 2022 certification for information security management system i repeat sebi received international organization for standardization international electrotechnical commission that is iso iec 27001 2022 certification correct and it was for its information security management system then it is for data or disaster recovery site 
it is for security operations control for their network operations control for all these facilities they got their this ISO IEC 27001 certification so question can be asked in two ways either it will be asked which organization got the certificate recently or SEBI got a certificate recently for information security and management system name that certification so this is ISO IEC 27001 correct and SEBI received the certification following an audit by the certification body under the accreditation of the National Accreditation Board for Certification Bodies, a member of IAF that is International Accreditation Forum. The certification emphasizes SEBI's commitment to ongoing improvement and enhancement of their systems and controls to achieve the confide confidentiality, integrity and availability of the data and operation. If we talk about this ISO IEC, this is an international standard for ISMS. Now, what is this ISMS? Correct. It is basically your information security management system. Correct. So, this ISO is an international standard for information security management system that defines the specifications for an effective security management. This will offer guidance to establish, implement, maintain, and improve the security management systems. Correct. And this support organizations to become risk aware and proactively identify and address the weaknesses. Next. Next is UBI. That is your Union Bank of India. They have raised 4,200 crore rupees from DIFC to fund overseas business. I repeat, Union Bank of India, they have raised 500 million dollar that is close to 4200 crore rupees from foreign bank markets to fund overseas business growth the fund was arranged by dubai international financial center at dubai branch in uae and there would be two tranches of 500 million dollar syndicated term loan with term of three and five years each that is 400 million dollar and 100 million dollar for green shoe so this 500 million dollar that will be received by union bank it will be in two tranches of 400 million dollar and 100 million dollar one will be for three years and another will be for five years correct and the first tranche of 100 million was was drawn on 3rd of april 2024 next next remember american express this american express is also known as mx right they have launched new metal corporate platinum card i repeat american express launched the new metal corporate platinum card designed to meet the changing needs of business owners and entrepreneurs in india the card offers best in class advantages including taj epicure plus membership and gold allied status at the marriott bonway Right, the card members can receive up to 5x rewards on the purchase made in a few specific categories such as IT, ITES, e commerce, airlines, etc. Next, next is SJVN. They have won the 15th CIDC Vishwa Karma Award 2024 for their corporate social responsibility contribution what is this corporate social responsibility these big mncs these corporate organizations they have to work towards sustainable development goals they need to work towards social issues right so there is a separate department of these organization that are specifically working towards these agendas they are working towards making the environment clean following the sustainable development goals making sure to elevate poverty making short sure making sure to work towards the social issues in that particular area correct so sjvn they are right this is a hydroelectric power generation company and they have received the achievement award for creating social development and impact at the 15th cidc vishwa karma award 2024 that was instituted by cidc and the award was presented to sjvn this was towards their changed positive change through their cost corporate social responsibility initiatives and sjvn has secured the award for the third consecutive time here sjvn also received the cidc partners in the progress trophy 2024 right take a note of this and remember sjvn they have spent over 4450 crore rupees across various corporate social responsibility activists that includes your education skill development health and hygiene infrastructure development and so on 
इफ वी टॉक अबाउट सी आई डी सी विश्वकर्मा अवार्ड दिस सी आई डी सी विश्वकर्मा अवार्ड रिकॉग्नाइज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इंडिविजुअल्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स नेशनल ग्रोथ एंड सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट पर्टिकुलरली इन द कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फील्ड हेयर सी आई डी सी विश्वकर्मा अवार्ड फॉर टू थाउजेंड एट द इनॉग्रल एडिशन ऑफ द अवार्ड वॉज प्रेजेंटेड इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन इनॉग्रल right and the award are inspired by the spirit of the creation and construction embodied by lord vishwakarma a ruling deity in indian construction practices next next is appointments and resignation finance ministry has appointed justice p s dinesh kumar as presiding officer of sat and dhiraj bhatnagar as the technical member i repeat ministry of finance has appointed justice pratinidhi shri shrinivasan charya that is p s dinesh kumar the former chief justice of karnataka high court as the presiding officer of the securities appellate tribunal for 4 years or until he attains the age of 70 take a note of this important correct and if we talk about justice p s dinesh kumar he started practice in high court of karnataka in 1990 he was appointed as an additional judge of the karnataka high court in january 2015 and permanent judge in december 2016 He served as the Chief Justice of Karnataka High Court from 3rd to 24th of Feb 2024. Then the next question can be asked to you is that P S Dinesh Kumar succeeded whom? He succeeded Justice Tarun Agarwal. Correct. Who served as the Presiding Officer of S A T from December 2018 till 2023. Next we are seeing Dhiraj Bhatnagar. He has been appointed as the technical member correct and he was the formal chief commissioner of income tax of delhi and he has been appointed as the technical member of sat for 4 years now this question can be asked that dhiraj bhatnagar appointed as the technical member of sat that is securities appellate tribunal for how many years for 4 years then justice p s dinesh kumar he has been appointed as the presiding officer of sat for how many years he has been also appointed for 4 years correct take a note of this and if we talk about this sat that is securities appellate tribunal this was this is a statutory body that was set up in 1992 uh, correct or that was set up under the sebi act of 1992 next next is chairman and managing director of nddb dr Manish Shah has been elected as the chairman of NCDFI. What is NCDFI? NCDFI is your National Cooperative Dairy Federation of India Limited. Correct. So coming back, chairman and managing director of National Dairy Development Board, Dr. Manish Kumar Chamkapalal Shah has been appointed as unanimously elected as the chairman. So who has been elected as the chairman of NCDFI? He is the chairman of NDDB. Dr. Manish Shah, as you can see him in the picture, has been appointed as the chairman he will replace whom he will be replacing mangal jeet rai right he served as the chairman of ncdfi for two terms that was from 2017 till 2024 if we talk about ncdfi remember the ministry of cooperation oversees the national cooperative dairy federation of india limited and in 1984 they started functioning as the apex body of the cooperative dairy industry where is the headquarter of ncdfi it is in anand anand is in gujarat next news next is mca ministry of corporate affairs has appointed two part time members to ibbi governing body i repeat Ministry of Corporate Affairs they have appointed two members who are they first MP Ram Mohan a professor at IIM Ahmedabad and second Dinabandhu Mohapatra a non executive independent director of India Bulls Housing Limited has been appointed as the part time members of the governing body of IBBI what is IBBI Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India so coming back remember MP Mohan Rao uh, MP Ram Mohan and Dina Bandhu Mohapatra these are the two part time members that have been appointed by MCA to IBBI governing board the appointment came into effect on 19th of feb and they will hold the position for a period of 5 years this question also becomes important for how many years they will be in this position for the coming 5 years if we talk about Dina Bandhu Mohapatra 
ही इज अ फॉर्मर मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ द बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इफ वी टॉक अबाउट आई बी बी आई दिस इज अ स्टेचुटरी बॉडी इस्टेब्लिश ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द प्रोविजंस ऑफ द इंसॉल्वेंसी मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट इज इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ स्पोर्ट फॉर द डेवलपमेंट एंड पीस दिस डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन सिक्स ऑफ अप्रैल करेक्ट एंड इट इज टू रिकॉग्नाइज द पॉजिटिव रोल्स ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एंड फिजिकल एक्टिविटी इन द ग्लोबल कम्युनिटीज एंड द लाइव ऑफ पीपल वर्ल्ड वाइड इफ वे लुक एट इट सिक्स ऑफ अप्रैल इट मार्क्स द ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ द इलेवेंथ एडिशन ऑफ द आई डी एस डी पी दैट इज इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ द स्पोर्ट फॉर डेवलपमेंट एंड पीस एंड द ग्लोबल थीम हेयर बींग स्पोर्ट फॉर द प्रमोशन ऑफ पीसफुल एंड इंक्लूसिव societies this is the theme this you need to remember for the first time this day was observed in 2014 that is 6th of april 2014 and why 6th of april remember united nation general assembly chose 6th of april as the date for the day as it creates a historical link to the first modern olympic games that was held on 6th of april 1896 so first ever Olympic Games modern Olympic Games was held on 6th of April 1896 so in order to remember that this day that is international day for the sport or uh, international day of sport for development and peace is also observed on 6th of April correct so friends these were your important current affairs now let's move to some one liner current affairs that are one of the most Short section in our daily current affairs video, right? Many students are, many students. I tell you, many students they like these one-liners because it is a good way of revising them, right? Revising all the current affairs that we have discussed. Not just this. I also suggest you if you like these one-liners, no, then you should also go for the revision part that we are doing ahead of these one-liners. That revision part is also very important to revise the current affairs of previous few days. Coming back, let's start. B E M L and B E L. They have partnered to develop indigenous train control management system, that is I T C M S. IFCO and A C M E. They have signed an M O U to boost sustainability in agriculture and renewable energy usage in India. Maharashtra's Miraj Tanpura and Miraj Sitar. These are the two products from Maharashtra that got the G I tag, and one product from U P that is Bundelkhand Katia Gehu got the G I tag. then sjvn and iit patna they sign an mou to use advanced geological models in tunneling projects then if we talk about rbi's first bi monthly monetary policy report for fiscal year 25 india's gdp is to grow at 7% in fiscal year 25 rbi has cancelled the certificate of registration of 4 bnf 4 nbfcs and they have imposed a fine on hdfc idfc bank as well as LIC Housing Finance. Then Jammu and Kashmir Bank they partnered with Paymart India to launch virtual ATM facility. Then SEBI they got ISO IEC two seven zero zero one two thousand two certificate two thousand twenty two certification for information security management system. Next is Union Bank of India. They have raised four thousand two hundred crore rupees from DIFC to fund overseas business. American Express they have launched new metal corporate platinum card. SJVN Limited they have won the fifteenth CIDC Vishwa Karma Award twenty twenty two for their corporate social responsibility contribution. Finance Ministry they have appointed Justice P S Dinesh Kumar as presiding officer of SAT and Dheeraj Bhatnagar as technical member of SAT. Chairman and Managing Director of NDDB Dr Minish Shah has been elected as the chairman of NCDFI. MCA Ministry of Corporate Affairs appointed two part-time members to IBBI Governing Board and International Day of Sports for Development and Peace observed on 6th of April. So these are your important current affairs for the day friends. Now let's move to some revision part that will be very beneficial for your learning. Next Jay Shah was reappointed as the president of the Asian Cricket Council for the dash term. So Jay Shah he was appointed or he was reappointed as the president of the Asian Cricket Council for the third consecutive term. Right option is option one. Next, name the personality who has recently appointed as a brand ambassador of Boot. So very famous actor Ranveer Singh has been appointed. as a brand ambassador of boat brand correct next who has recently been sworn in as the chief minister of 
झारखंड सो चंपाई सोरेन हैज बीन रिसेंटली सोन इन एज द न्यू चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ झारखंड करेक्ट एंड दिस वॉज आफ्टर द रेजिग्नेशन ऑफ द फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ झारखंड दैट इज हु वॉज द फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर हेमंत सोरेन करेक्ट ही गेव रेजिग्नेशन एंड नाउ चंपाई सोरेन इज द न्यू चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ झारखंड नेक्स्ट इन फेब राधा रतूरी बिकेम द फर्स्ट वीमेन चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ विथ स्टेट सो राधा रतूरी ही राधा रतूरी शी बिकेम द फर्स्ट वीमेन चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ उत्तराखंड स्टेट ऑफ उत्तराखंड स्टेट करेक्ट एंड रिमेंबर पुष्कर सिंह धामी हु इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ झारखंड अपॉइंटेड राधा रतूरी अ 1988 बैच आईएएस ऑफिसर एज देयर एटीन चीफ सेक्रेटरी एंड शी बिकेम द फर्स्ट वीमेन चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ उत्तराखंड स्टेट नेक्स्ट हु हैज रिसेंटली स्वॉन इन एज द इंटर्म प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ द रिपब्लिक ऑफ नामीबिया नगोलो मुआम्बा नगोलो उम्बा करेक्ट हैज बीन स्वॉन इन एज द इंटर्म प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ द रिपब्लिक ऑफ नामीबिया एंड दिस वॉज आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ द इनकम्बेंट प्रेजिडेंट हेग गेंगोब ऑन फोर्थ ऑफ एप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द गुडविल एम्बेसडर फॉर एजुकेशन फॉर ऑल बाय यूनेस्को सो राइट ऑप्शन हेयर बिकम्स विनिशियस जूनियर करेक्ट विनिशियस जूनियर हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द गुडविल एम्बेसडर फॉर एजुकेशन फॉर ऑल बाय यूनेस्को करेक्ट एंड ही बिकेम द सेकेंड ब्राजीलियन फुटबॉलर आफ्टर पेले टू बी अपॉइंटेड एज द यूनेस्को गुडविल एम्बेसडर नेक्स्ट who has recently appointed as the managing director of national high speed rail corporation limited right option is option 2 vivek kumar gupta has been appointed as the md of national high speed rail corporation limited he will succeed whom he will be succeeding rajendra prasad who served as the managing director since july 2022 next in feb डॉक्टर अहमद आवाद बिन मुबारक वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ डैश कंट्री सो ही वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ यमन एंड ही रिप्लेस्ड होम ही रिप्लेस डॉक्टर माइन अब्दुल्ला मलिक साइद हु सर्व एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ यमन फ्रॉम अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड एटीन टू फेब ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर नेक्स्ट हु हैज रिसेंटली बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर of tata aia life insurance company limited so h venkata chalam ayer i repeat h venkata chalam ayer has been appointed as managing director and chief executive officer of tata aia life insurance company limited he will take over from the current uh, that is navin tahiliani who has been elevated as a non executive director of tata aia life insurance company next is our homework section first Ahobilam Shrine recently seen in news is located in which state Second recently president of India launched India's first home grown gene therapy for cancer at which place Third Kathia wheat recently got the GI tag is from which state important question friends do pay attention Fourth Peru Gam Malunar Massacre I repeat Perun Gamulnar massacre recently seen is associated in which state and what was the reason for this massacre do let me know in the comment section fifth recently which ministry launched my cghs app for ios ecosystem of devices earlier it was available for android devices but now this ios that is for apple users this application has also been launched my cghs application correct tell me so these are your five homework question friends and i need to see maximum participation of all the students who are watching this video that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairscloud_official in the end friends 
If you use a code that is Vikas10, you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code Vikas10. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.